I'm Nick Altmeyer with LincolnLewisCounty.com. I'm here this afternoon with A.J. McCall. Um, we're just coming off a press conference with Lewis County Sheriff Mike Carpinelli um, where we found out that the possible remains of Kenneth were found this morning. Um, Mr. McCall agreed to speak with us for a moment and uh, first of all our condolences to you and your family. Um, yes. No, we were hoping for a better ending. Very, very sorry that it ended up this way. Um, is there anything that you want to say about how the investigation was handled and um, what did you think of what the, the sheriff just told us during the press conference today? Well, first of all, we want to thank all of the family and friends and people that we didn't even know that came and um, helped search and sent us, you know, thoughts and prayers um, throughout. Um, I'm disappointed with the way that this case was handled. Um, as he said, they pulled out after four days. Uh, the Sheriff's Department pulled out after two and a half. Um, they really didn't give it much time. Um, they didn't follow uh, a, a timeline like they should have. We asked for tracking dogs to come in. They didn't come in. We, uh, the state police offered help and they were uh, told they didn't need it and uh, they have a lot more resources. Um, we asked about Fort Drum, which is right up the road. Maybe they couldn't help, but they can't say no if they're not asked. Um, he mentioned today that the Sheriff's Department's found the bones of my son, because that's what I have now, but it was forest strangers that actually found him. And um, it's, uh, they really dropped the ball. And I've been you know, trying to be politically correct, but I'm not anymore. They uh, did not do right by my son, and uh, had they had, uh, done more in the beginning, he might have been found five months ago. Okay. Um, are, are you considering, what, what would you like to see happen now, now that the, the case is coming to somewhat of a closure? Um, would you like to see them held accountable for the way that the, the case was handled? Or um, what, what would you like to see happen in, in that regard? Um, you know, I haven't even thought about that. Our goal was to bring Kenny home and uh, we had to do so much uh, by ourselves, organizing searches, getting the word out, uh, letter campaigns, um, making signs up for hunters that might be coming up from out of state or out of the area to know that somebody's missing. Um, and uh, our, our goal was to bring them home one way or another. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we found out what happened to him. You know, it would have been nice, uh, of course, that we wanted to find him alive and we hoped that he was out there but at least we do have, you know, closure that, that he was found. And it was our understanding that it was actually a hunter that came across uh, Kenny's bag and ID and keys and things last uh, late yesterday afternoon, which led to the, the search of this area this morning, which ultimately led to the, uh, the discovery of his remains. So um, it, it was a hunter that um, possibly seen a sign or something like that. Yeah. Um, so. And the... Um you know, this area was an area that I mentioned frequently, and I had asked why it wasn't being searched, and I was always told that he couldn't have gotten this far. And then I drew up a timeline that, that pointed out he most certainly could have gotten this far, but they never searched up here because they were told, the forest ranger said they were told by the sheriff that he couldn't get this far, so they didn't search. And lo and behold, this is where he was, and they didn't tell you, but he was only 300 feet from the road. He wasn't even that far in. And his bag and his cell phone were found maybe 100, 150 feet from the side of the road. So he wasn't even that far off the road. If they had come and searched it at all, he would have been found. Or his belongings would have been found. And we're here at the, the Nelson Road, uh, Aldridge Settlement Road intersection area over here in the town of Diana. Um, this is a, almost four miles from where the where the original search was taking place over on the Ted Road, correct? Yes, just about four miles, a little over four miles away. And um, they like to say that he left at four in the morning, but we believe he left more like two in the morning because the last witness that saw him was at two in the morning. And so he had a long time to get here. Um, walking in the dark, it was very hard to see, but he made it this far, it was only four miles. So probably in two hours he was here. Well, our thoughts are definitely with you and your family during this difficult time. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to say to the, to the people of the county? Um, you know, just thank you for all the thoughts and prayers and people that would show up to help search. And um, the forest strangers really did a nice job uh, when, they, when they searched. Um, they're very thorough and they were um, 
really uh, helpful. So I, I do have to thank them for, for coming. I just wish they were here longer. Well, thank you for taking a second to talk to us during this difficult time, and we definitely wish you the best of luck. Thank you.